Hi team, Anna here, makeup creator, teacher, and educator, specifically for people with hooded eyes, textured skin, oily skin, 30 plus skin, and skincare, all of that good stuff. Listen, it is time. Sephora sale is upon us. It is here. And I want to talk serious Sephora sale recommendations. I just did a full face of makeup, dare I say it. The skin is skinning. The skin is looking gorgeous and flawless and wonderful. We're going to talk about everything makeup, a little bit of skincare, a little bit of hair care. But I do want to start with face because this is my specialty. I have a really textured skin, acne prone, oily skin, 30 plus. So I have some fine lines. So if that is something you're interested in, if those are also some of your concerns, let's dive right in we're gonna start with primers and by the way you don't need anything from the Sephora sale you don't but if you're on the market for a product or two if you need a good recommendation if you are in a world where you want to treat yourself then welcome welcome let's talk about it obviously you don't need to buy anything but if you want to here are my topics i do always wear two primers one is glowy one is blurring that's kind of my go-to system for my specific textured skin in terms of glowy primers i am wearing my current favorite which is this milk makeup hydro grip and glow primer absolutely amazing i actually when i tried it out for the first time i thought it's not gonna work for me i thought it's gonna be too glowy to go to whatever it works perfectly fine makeup sits beautifully on top of it and the glow dare i say it gorgeous then i also adore the iconic london under glow blur Blurring primer. I don't see much blurring from it, but I do love this from that glow from within look. And lastly, I do love the Natasha Denona Hygen Skin Glass Primer. I'm not going to recommend you a lot of Natasha Denona products because I do have a 15% code with them, which is Anastasia 15. So unless you're rouge, you can always get a 15% code with them. So just keep that in mind. They're one of my favorite brands, but I didn't put a lot of items from the brand in here just because I do have a code with them that is available all year round, not just on a specific sale type of day. But anyways, yeah, I do love this for glow as well. In terms of blurring primers, my top favorite and the one that I'm wearing today as well through the center of my face is the classic Benefit Professional. There's just nothing better like this. It's really that good. I do have a good dupe for that from the Sephora collection. Actually, look into Sephora collection. They have 30% discount during these days and they're amazing. Their complexion products are top notch. So this is their smooth and blur primer. Really good, really affordable, really decent formula. This is going to be quite a jump because this is not affordable by any means this is why i sell their blur primer absolutely love how my skin looks how my skin feels and how makeup sits on top of this adore this this is just that good so 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 perfect i do use it quite a bit probably just as much as my benefit professional primer really really beautiful for textured skin and imperfect skin we have a lot of primers i i am a primer girl through and through i will never skip my double priming i just love primers i think they work i think they're very crucial and important especially if you have like more problematic not, not problematic but like skin that has some concerns anyways tatcha the silk canvas is also really beautiful for blurring your pores this is the last recommendations let's move on to foundations i'm gonna start with the product that i always take traveling with me and i just wear on a days where i do kind like a no makeup makeup look this is the merit stick and i just adore how easy it is to use how i always reach for it honestly thought that it's not going to be for me because i'm typically not a no makeup makeup girly but i really fell in love with this and i have a backup of this already so i don't need to purchase a new one but i highly recommend trying out this one i don't have a lot of foundations to recommend you because honestly i do love a good drugstore foundation i feel like maybelline or revlon or elf are literally killing it on the market so but i will show you my favorites that you can get at sephora number one top favorite at, as of now and the one i'm wearing today is definitely the eat cosmetic cc cream full coverage foundation so beautiful so natural looking but at the same time full coverage this is just a must have like honestly it cosmetics they're killing it with their complexion products adore adore everything about this i have two shades one is a little dark for me one is a little light so i do mix them uh, which is kind of weird but it creates my perfect shade so that's what you gotta do this has been growing on me the first time i tried it i was like i'm not sure about it and then I get complimented every time I wear this. So I'm like, okay, there's something about this foundation. So this is the Huda Beauty Easy Blur. And it was my favorite at first, but now I'm putting it in this video because it's actually grown on me. And paired with the Huda Beauty Loose Bake Easy Bake Powder, it looks phenomenal. And it's so, so long wear. Lastly, this is the foundation I purchased last year on one of the Sephora savings events, just because I've always wanted to try the Shiseido foundation and I needed a discount to try it out. So this is a Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. I know it says radiant, but it doesn't make your skin look glowy whatsoever. It's just a really decent full coverage long wear formula that is so lightweight and so luxurious and I absolutely love it. I feel like there's probably not much left in there because I've been using it on a daily until I discovered the It Cosmetics one. So definitely top, top, one of my top favorite foundations. Let's talk concealers. I will mention the Natasha Denona concealer because it's just that good, that creamy, that full coverage, that 
creaseless it is amazing and this is one of the natasha nona products that i am mentioning in this video even though i do have a code with them again but i absolutely adore 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 this product just as much as i do love the makeup by mario surreal skin concealer i've honestly tried them for the first time around the same time and i keep going back and forth because i really love the bo both formulas this is a little bit more drying this is a little bit more creamy both full coverage both creaseless both really long wear and i love them i am wearing the makeup by mario today in the shade 160 because it's a brightening shade and i do love me a bright under eye. so yeah these are my top favorites they go hand in hand i adore them highly recommend trying them out now if you like something on a more natural side not to say that those look cakey they do not they also look natural but this one is even more creamy and lightweight this is by kofi beauty and it's also not gonna break your bank i believe it's like 26 bucks and then if you add a discount to it it's gonna be a really nice price point really really beautiful formulation i wish more people talked about it because it's definitely up there top three of my favorite concealers but i don't see people use it that often i do love the brand everything from the brand to be honest but their concealer is definitely my favorite product cream contours and cream bronzers there's honestly so many that i love six oh sorry about that but i just gotta share them all <laughs> so today i'm wearing the makeup by mario soft sculpt stick this is my current go-to because it's so easy to blend out and apply and it's just that creamy and that good i'm in the shade light medium love that it has a neutral undertone not too cool not too warm perfect for me i also do love and enjoy their skin enhancer in the shade medium I do use it when I'm kind of in the mood for a little bit of a softer look and I just use a brush and apply a little bit of this on my cheekbones and stuff. So I do, I will say that I use it on my more of my no makeup makeup days, but I love these products equally and Makeup by Mario Complexion in general as you probably have seen already, is amazing. Then we get to quite a classic product, Rare Beauty Contour Stick in the shade Happy Sol. I bought it so long ago. I absolutely adore this. I haven't used it in a while. This has a little bit of a warmer undertone, but they do have different shades as well. I always say that this is a very beginner-friendly product, super easy to blend out with a sponge or with a brush. Creamy, glides on, will not disturb any of the layers underneath. Just overall, a very, very decent option at Sephora. Now, if you like something more liquidy more on the cool tone side i highly recommend trying out the say beauty dew bronze this is in the shade salt and it's very very cool tone and don't be alarmed it's not really dewy it doesn't make your skin glowy it just gives you a little bit of hydrating contour kind of tint and it's really easy to blend out super super nice doe foot up the applicator and i just adore 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 this product again if i want something cool tone and something more lightweight i always reach for this and last but not least do not sleep on give beauty this is such an amazing brand their complexion products and their eye products and their lip products are so 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 good so this is their pick it up cream contour and powder bronzer duo first of all you get a duo for a price point of one product you get a cream contour and a bronzer that complements it in a powder form this is the shade toasting which is my favorite shade love the product love the formula really really decent options an option at sephora as well especially for the price point with a discount grab it you're not gonna regret it cream blushes i do have several formulas to recommend you they're all quite different which is very interesting i mean blush has been the thing of this year in the past couple years so yeah four blush formulas they're all so different but i love them all we're gonna start with the lawless pinch my cheek soft blur cream blush this is what i'm wearing today in the shade rosebud this is just my favorite blurring formula such a good cream blush formula they have such fun shades gorgeous use a brush tap 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 blurring beautiful long wear amazing pigment as well another cult classic from rare beauty you have probably heard about this soft pinch liquid blush yes it is that good you only use a little bit dot and it's gonna give you all the pigment in the world my favorite shade is this one encourage it's kind of a muted mauvey pink absolutely love this product i actually miss it i haven't used it in a while because there's so many new blushes on the market so yeah this is a really good one then we got the abh blurring serum blush this is one of more of a newer launch and i really like it i i'm not the biggest of the packaging but i really love the formula so it is liquid and the pigment is really beautiful you say you also need just one dot and it's really the consistency is absolutely gorgeous also quite blurring formula and it's not going to be super dewy or glowy it's going to kind of dry almost like semi-matte and i really love this 
product for that quality and last but not least just a really fun product i thought i'm not gonna like these but i actually fell in love with these milk jelly tints they're so 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 good oh i haven't tried this shade wow <laughs> i've tried like four shades i'm surprised that i still have a shade that i haven't tried so 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 good so pigmented extremely pigmented i've tried them on the lips as well but i definitely prefer them on the cheeks they just give out the beautiful flushed look that is so 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 longer like it's gonna stain you like it's gonna be there until the end of the night for sure and i love that about those because blush is typically the first thing to disappear from your skin throughout the day so yeah a really really nice option as well okay so we're kind of going according to my makeup steps so we're not gonna talk about powder blush and bronzer just yet we're gonna actually talk about powders because this is what i would naturally do next in my makeup step and we're gonna start with the one and only the powder that i always recommend the powder that i always repurchase on these sephora events or any type of sale i can get pat mcgrath blurring under eye powder this is the only powder i use under my eyes on a daily i'm using it today as well blurring does not get into your fine lines creaseless super super lightweight and really mature skin friendly i want to say it's not that i have mature skin but my skin is very sensitive and dry under my eyes so i only only use this powder it's in a pink shade but they also have translucent which is just as good i use them both another pressed powder that i have been loving is the tower 28 get set and blur powder i use it as a finishing powder i use it as a touch-up powder i also use it under my eyes just not as much as the pat mcgrath but it's a very very decent blurring formula and i just kind of use a puff with it and then go over kind of like oily spots on a daily basis or like kind of during the day when i need a little touch up really really good formula talking about loose powders loose powders are the one that i use to set my entire face with a puff so i only use the pressed powder under the eyes and then i go with a loose powder throughout the entire face because my skin is super oily and i just need to press the powder in not only to put a layer on top but to make sure that that powder like goes through the layers of my makeup into my skin and sets everything hope that makes sense so i'm wearing the huda beauty easy bake powder today in the shade cherry blossom cake the pink shade absolutely adore this one of my favorite 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 powders paired with that huda beauty easy blur foundation immaculate finish if you ask me then my other favorite is the laura mercier loose translucent setting powder or the ultra blur version again i do have a coat with laura mercier anastasia 20 which is a 20 percent code off of their website so you don't have to wait for a sephora sale to grab this but i still wanted to mention it because it's just that good then we have the one size powder i actually this is not the shade that is my favorite my favorite shade is ultra peach this is translucent this is their ultimate setting powder also just as good it's just a little bit on a heavier side compared to the other two that i just talked about those are a little bit more finely milled but this is still one of my favorites and then last but not least in what if we're talking about powders i'm gonna mention this and this will gently move us forward to the bronzers and blushes hourglass if you still don't have one of these six pan hourglass palettes highly recommend grabbing one with any discount you can get this one is not from this year's launches i believe this is last year's launch and i grabbed the shades that are more flattering on me i absolutely adore these finishing powders that's the glow that you see all over my face the bronzing powder the blushes and the highlight as well are superior this is the only luminous powder formula that kind of works on my textured and oily skin and does not emphasize anything and is just really really flattering to be honest with you so i always highly recommend picking up one of these hourglass powders just make sure that the shades and the products are suitable for your complexion and to your liking as well because they have so many and you got to pick the one that you will like and get good use all out of because these are these are pricey these are really really pricey powder bronzers and blushes i do have quite a bit in this category because i always set my cream bronzer and blush with powder bronzer and blush again because i have really oily skin and makeup just doesn't stay as good as it does on probably drier complexions but i don't mind doing it and i love my powder products as well so here are my recommendations we got the ysl all hours hyper bronze it's the one i'm wearing today my current favorite very very pricey so definitely grab it with a discount while you can i'm in the shade two so gorgeous neutral undertones really easy to blend i love it just as much as i do my previous favorite so i use this all the time i used to use this all the time but i love them equally it's just that this is a little bit newer in my collection pat mcgrath bronze without caution absolutely adore this formula as well the embossment is not even there anymore because of how much i used it such a beautiful gorgeous shade and formula so 
pigmented, but you can't really overdo it. It's not going to get patchy. It's just going to blend out easily. And lastly, for the powder bronzer type of thing, I have an affordable recommendation. Another product from Sephora Collection that is just that good. I absolutely love their line again. And this is the matte bronzer in the shade 2. Again, super, super beautiful formula. Easy to work with. Just a really, really decent product on the market. And then we get to powder blushes. And I was like, there isn't really a powder blush. Like, they're all good, but they're not exciting to me as cream blushes are. I don't know how to describe it, but these powder blushes are okay, but not like super, super amazing. You have to have them, but I will still recommend them. So we got the Fenty Beauty Suede Powder Blush in the shade Petal Popping. This is my favorite. It's kind of more corally. I do love this formula. If you can see, it's kind of more like putty, but it doesn't look like that. It looks like how a powder, a normal matte powder blush on your cheeks, unless you pick up a shimmery shade, but I don't like those. Really, really good. Really decent formula. And then we get the Give Beauty. I actually love these. I feel like people are sleeping on this. This is their blush duos. So if their contour duo has a cream and a powder, their blush duos don't actually work like that. They're both powders, but one has a little bit more of a shimmery finish and one is more matte. And I love these shades. These are quite neutral. They have really shades that are really out there, like poppy pinks and purples. These are more neutral shades that I really like. And I typically just mix the two because shimmer is not that shimmery and it just gives you a little bit of glow. Really, really adore, adore, adore these blushes. Lastly, the one that I'm wearing today, but again, it's from the brand that you can get 20% off with my code anytime, but I will still recommend it because I just really, really love this product. Laura Mercier blush in the shade Strawberry. It is a very vibrant pink, but you can't really see it on my cheeks. Plus with time, the, bl the powder blush kind of disappears really quickly, but I still do love, love, love this product. Very lightweight, very beautiful, very luxurious feeling. Let's get to cream highlighters and then powder highlighters. And then we'll talk about setting sprays as well. Wow. Not much left for the face. <laughs> all right, so here are my favorite cream highlighters. They are honestly all the same to me, quality-wise. I love them the same. Like, they're amazing. I've used the heck out of this Laura Mercier in the shade Champagne, which is kind of pink, Champagne Pink, which is kind of pinky and absolutely love this product. Then we have the Tarte and the Classic Charlotte Tilbury Highlighter wand. I've just started using this. I'm wearing it today. That's the beautiful, beautiful pop of glow you see. Every time I wear this, I get so many compliments on my skin, so I realized, oh my God, Charlotte is onto something. I will keep using it. So good. And then in terms of powder highlights, obviously the highlights that you get in the Hourglass palette are really, really good. Then we have another Gift Beauty product. Like I said, their complexion is amazing. Complexion products. Um, So we have their beautiful, beautiful highlight. This is in the shade Homegrown Glow. I love mixing all the shades. It creates a really beautiful, veil-like, gorgeous highlight that you could also make really blinding or really wearable. And then the new addition to the Anastasia Beverly Hills Collection Glow Seeker highlighter in the shade Ethereal. Really love this. Luxurious packaging, luxurious application, beautiful glow. Really, really got into Anastasia this holiday season. They are killing it. And yeah, this is a really good one. Setting sprays. <laughs> we have a really heavy duty setting spray that feels like hairspray, looks like hairspray, and probably is hairspray. <laughs> Just kidding. But it's really, really heavy duty for those days when you need to be wearing makeup for 12 plus hours. One size until dawn, mattifying waterproof. Amazing. If I'm going to attend a wedding this is what i'm wearing hands down so gorgeous so gorgeous and then a more gentle formula for every day also a formula that i absolutely love charlotte tilbury air blush flawless setting spray you can see how little i have left absolutely adore this and it's just as good and it smells just so 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 divine so yeah i kind of go between these two really really love these options let's move on to eye makeup recommendations again i do have hooded eyes and oily eyelids so everything i recommend is going to be super super long wear because that's just kind of the products I gravitate towards. In terms of eyeshadow primers, first of all, I do always use eyeshadow primer and I quite enjoy the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. It's been my go-to these days. In terms of mascaras, I always layer a regular mascara with a waterproof mascara because that's the only thing that keeps me from having panda eyes. I am really sensitive to mascaras, so I don't like a lot of them. And yeah, that's just my story. We have the Anastasia Lash Sculpt, which is, is it Lash Sculpt? Yeah, Lash Sculpt, which is what I'm wearing today. And I layer this one by Milk on top because it's waterproof. Kush High Raw mascara. My lashes are actually looking really good today. I also absolutely love Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara and Give Beauty Can't Stop Stare Mascara. I cannot find it for the life of me. I think maybe it's in my travel bag or something. It's also amazing. So yeah, these are the four mascaras that I would recommend from Sephora. Pencil eyeliners. This is honestly embarrassing to show, but this is my favorite pencil eyeliner that will not move anywhere. It's super long wear and super waterproof. Give Beauty. And I love their brown and their black shade. The black shade is called Spiderwebs, even though you cannot even... Oh, you can see spiderwebs but you cannot even see the give uh, logo here because this is 
is just how much I used it. Super, super good. Adore these. And then in terms of liquid eyeliner, I adore this one by Too Faced. A classic, if you ask me. I always, always, always do my wing with this one because it's just so easy to apply. And it's just like the tip is so thin. It's absolutely perfect for hooded eyes. And you can see I love a dramatic wing sometimes. So yeah, this has been my go-to. In terms of eyeshadow palettes, my absolute favorite eyeshadow formula is Natasha Denona. So if you have a palette that you've been eyeing or a color story that you are like really wanting to pick up, then definitely I would recommend getting a Natasha Denona palette and 20% is quite a good discount to get it on. I also do love Pat McGrath and if you are on the lookup for a mothership and they have a good discount, definitely pick that up. But Pat McGrath, they also do have a lot of discounts on their website throughout the year. So if you don't pick it up now, you will definitely have an opportunity to pick it up later. One palette that I will definitely recommend you picking up from the Sephora sale is going to be the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes Moonlight, which is the palette I'm wearing today. But only if you are into these cool tones, because I believe their first palette is sold out and they don't have it available at Sephora anymore. So if you are into cool tones, this is absolutely insane quality. Gorgeous, gorgeous shimmers, beautiful buttery soft mattes. I use this every single day and I will be using it every single day. I know it. These are my favorite shades ever. I create the most effortless beautiful look with it or a really gorgeous date night smoky it's so versatile to me i absolutely love the shade so yeah highly recommend this another brand that i really like picking up eyeshadows from at sephora most of my favorite eyeshadow brands besides Natasha Nona I actually indie eyeshadows because I feel like they just do it better but at the same time there is something else that I really liked recently at Sephora it were these these two palettes by Anastasia sugar and spice this is their holiday collection this year and spice is a little bit more on the brown side for my neutral lovers sugar is a little bit more fun for my colorful lovers we loved playing with these gorgeous gorgeous beautiful stunning formula shimmers and mattes both perform beautifully I also do love who the beauty eyeshadows i'm still on the fence about their new icy nude eyeshadow palette because i feel like i'm not really sure about it i was immediately when i saw it i was like i need i need it and i'm gonna buy it but now i'm still on the fence about it so we'll see we'll see if i pick it up i'll review it but if not then it just didn't happen and lastly let's talk about some lip products lip liners Charlotte Tilbury Anastasia Beverly Hills. Really good long wear decent options. I am wearing Anastasia in the shade Deep Taupe today. In terms of lipstick, I like a good neutral mauve creamy lipstick. So I adore Merit in the shade Baby. It's one of my favorite shades for sure. And then I really, really love Laura Mercier's new lipsticks. They have a really nice different shades, but my favorite is this one, La Chenille. I use the heck out of it on a daily. So creamy, so beautiful, not drying whatsoever. I also love any type of a YSL little creamy lipstick. They're so, 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 so good and creamy. I'm wearing this one in the shade. It's the Glow Balm Candy Glow version in the shade. I think it's 44B. It's kind of pinky and I'm wearing it today. These are always so hydrating and just so, so good on the lips. Love, love, love YSL. And then I will only recommend you one gloss, well, one brand, Lawless. Lawless have the best glosses in my humble opinion. They are called Forget the Filler Gloss. So, so smoothing. And and nourishing and beautiful and I have the entire line and I absolutely love the way it looks on my lips that don't have any filler like they actually make them look so plump without plumping it you know what I mean and just looks really natural really beautiful really gorgeous adore 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 lawless glosses let's talk a little bit about hair i don't really try or use much products but i will share some of my favorites definitely definitely olaplex shampoo and conditioner yes they are that good absolutely adore them i just have like this much left so i'm not gonna bring them from my bathroom but they are my go-to then i absolutely adore moroccan oil for the hair i don't have much left but it's literally the best the scent the rich the beautiful beautiful shine that it gives you so 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 good then we get my favorite dry shampoo is by k18 it's not aerosol and it feels really different compared to other dry shampoos that just like make it feel like there's a lot of stuff in your hair this is way more like fresh and lightweight adore this one and then lastly when i do want those like curls or volume i always use this wow extra large bombshell volumizer I actually use it with a tool that i want to recommend you the tool that i want to recommend you is definitely the shark literally forgot that it's called shark flex style but yeah shark flex style 2 is the tool that i bought two years ago during the sephora sale a must have it is definitely a dyson era 
do but it like works exactly the same so if you want to save a couple hundred dollars then definitely definitely pick up shark i absolutely love the way it dries my hair the way the air up works and all of the other kind of attachments so so worth the money a really really handy tool to have and lastly let's talk a little bit about skincare i'm just going to recommend some products that work for me and my skin type i adore clarence total eye lift in terms of eye care one of my favorite 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 eye creams and another eye tool that i use on a daily and i swear by it i always recommend it to you guys tula rose glow and get it so it's a stick a cooling stick that you apply under your eyes and it's going to not only color correct it but also kind of deep off it because of the cooling sensation my ride or die literally my favorite product ever then i have the tatcha lip mask i just love to use this before i apply makeup and kind of during i apply my face makeup before i apply lip makeup just hydrating the lips so 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 good in terms of moisturizers i want to recommend you a couple elemis pro collagen marine cream if you guys are on a market to splurge and you want to treat yourself or tatcha the water cream also quite pricey but so good so hydrating and lightweight and doesn't really bother me and my oily and textured skin like these work for me not every moisturizer works for me i've been really enjoying the retinol system overnight treatment from urad this has been working really well for me and in general i do love urad everything from their brand cleanser the pore blurring product love 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 that and then we have the clarence oh, i broke the bottle <laughs> but i do do adore their double serum literally could not go to bed without it it's such a good anti-age product and then lastly two face masks that i really really love the kills deep pore cleansing mask i've been using it for a decade literally a decade so if you have enlarged pores and if you just have like acne prone skin and skin with those type of issues this is a must have and then i absolutely adore the clarence Creo flash cream mask this is a cooling mask that is going to deep puff you in the morning and leave your skin looking so smooth and gorgeous and juicy and glowy really really good product also very good for anti-aging um if you're on the lookout for that all right guys that is it for today's video i hope that this was helpful i'm gonna leave all of the products that i talked about in the description down below if you shop through my links it really help out my channel quite a bit thank you so much for doing that and i will see you in the next one thank you for hanging out with me and i love you all bye